What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I reduce noise in my wildlife photos uh, using Lightroom. And this is a super awesome technique that I learned from an awesome photographer, Jared Lloyd, uh, who's got amazing work. I'll make sure to link his YouTube down below. Um, but the reason I love this technique so much is because it's fast and it does a super accurate job. Um, so this is a shot I got of a beautiful red fox uh, well after sunset. So this was probably about 45 minutes after the sun had set, really dark. Uh, I had to go to ISO 4000, F4, uh, 1 320th of a second handheld, so pretty slow shutter speed as well. Um, <clears throat> if we zoom into our fox, you see the face is nice and sharp. It looks great. A lot of detail in the fur and in the eyes, but then as soon as we start going off into the background, we start seeing that noise and that just does not look good ladies and gents so I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of that so one thing I want to show you first is something I see too often and that's a lot of people just uh, take this noise reduction slider and bring it all the way up and what that does is it's a global adjustment so it's adjusting everything in the photo the background and the fox and as we see as we zoom into the background the background looks great noise free smooth but then we look over at our fox and she's lost all detail. There's no detail in her fur and eyes. It just looks looks ugh, ugh, looks awful. <laughs> so uh, our end goal is we want to keep detail in the fox. We want the fox to be nice and sharp, but we want the background to be nice and noise free. So what we do to achieve that is I'm going to take this noise reduction slider and bring it back to about 85 percent roughly. 86 is fine. And what that does is it makes the background look more natural. We don't want it to be too smooth um, and we don't want it to look fake so that looks pretty good. Um, and now all we do folks is we go to our brush tool up here and we take our noise slider again. This time though we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna bring it down 85 percent like we did upwards uh, just before. And now we're just gonna increase our brush size and all we gotta do is paint the noise back into our fox. So I'm going to do a pretty quick job just to make this video a little bit shorter. Um, usually you want to get a little bit more meticulous with it so you don't have any weird noisy spots, random spots on the background. Um, now I'm going to shrink the brush size a little bit here so I can get the ears a little bit better. That. Brush that back in the ears, shrink it even a little bit more. Sorry for that sound, y'all. My computer's uh, kind of freaking out. <laughs> That's the thing about Nikon D850 files is they're they're pretty huge, and they uh, have a habit for making computers work a little bit harder. But uh, yeah, once we uh, brush our noise back into the fox, that should be good. Let's take a look. Let's zoom in here might take a second for it to clear up with my computer. You can see it's working down here. <laughs> but let's just give that a second. Come on now. There we go. So yeah, as you guys can see, there's a lot of detail and that sharpness is back into our fox. We have that nice, sharp, crisp look. Um, fur is nice and sharp, but then if we go off to the background, there's no noise at all. And that's exactly what we want. Noise-free background, sharp fox. Um, yeah, and that's it, folks. I mean, it's super easy. doesn't take long at all. I'll show you before and after. Um, so this is where we started with all that noise. And this is with my color adjustments as well. But just let's look at the noise up here uh, before, after. And still retaining that great detail in the fox. So that's it, folks. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace out.